Smile and learn. Hey, friends. Today, we're going to learn about another system of the human body the female reproductive system and the male reproductive system. Do you remember what the three vital functions were? Exactly. Nutrition, interaction, and reproduction. Today we'll focus on reproduction. It's the biological process that ensures a species is maintained through the birth of new human beings. What system do you think performs this function? I just told you. Very good, the reproductive system. As human beings grow older, our sexual characteristics become more and more differentiated. This process begins at puberty, when we develop the secondary sexual characteristics that differentiate females and males physically. The reproductive system can be female or male, depending on whether it's a female or male body. Let's start with the female reproductive system. The main components of the female reproductive system are the ovaries, fallopian tubes, uterus, vagina, and vulva. Let's take a closer look. Ovaries. The ovaries are these small, almond-shaped organs responsible for producing the female sex cells, called eggs. Fallopian tubes. The fallopian tubes are tubes responsible for connecting the ovaries with the uterus, allowing them to transport eggs. Uterus. The uterus is a hollow organ where the fetus develops during pregnancy. It's very muscular since it has the ability to expand as the fetus grows, and later it helps push the fetus out during delivery. Vagina. The vagina is a canal that connects the uterus that opens outside the body. This is the passageway where sperm cells enter and where the baby comes out when giving birth. Vulva. The vulva is made up of external organs of the female reproductive system. The vulva is mainly responsible for protecting the openings from damage by the exterior. How interesting! Now, we'll move on to learn about the male reproductive system. The main components of the male reproductive system are the penis, urethra, testicles, vas deferens, seminal vesicle, and the prostate. Let's find out what each one is for. Penis. The penis consists of two parts, the shaft and the glans penis, and it has an opening where semen and urine exit outside the body called the urethra. Urethra. The urethra is an organ shared by the excretory and reproductive system. This is where urine is expelled, but it also allows spermatozoa, among other things, to be expelled outside the body. Testicles. The testicles are oval shaped and are responsible for making and storing millions of spermatozoa. Vas deferens. The vas deferens is responsible for connecting the testicles to the urethra. Seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicle is responsible for producing most of the seminal fluid, which nourishes sperm. Prostate. Its function is to produce the rest of the seminal fluid. Have you seen how interesting the male and female reproductive systems are? See you soon! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn.
Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.